three out of ten movie. Um, you see, the thing is that the little you know how they said if you love Barbie, you're gonna love this movie. It was aimed at a completely different audience. The children went, so they have maximized on all age groups because they didn't say if you love this movie growing up, then you're gonna love Barbie. Sorry, if you loved Barbie growing up, then you're gonna love this because then it would appeal to a specific audience, like an elder generation. But they said, if you love Barbie, you're going to love this movie. So then all the little ones went, all the big ones went, and the little ones were falling asleep because they didn't quite get it. They were just looking at the colors and pretty Barbie, you know. And the elders, like us lot, we understood like some of the deeper meanings, the deeper messages from there, right? Like um, um, at one point, um, you know, um, Barbie's... Uh, what do you call it, human side connection or whatever. She's like, you know, us mothers, uh, we stood back so we could see you guys, how far you guys go, right? So it's about like um, how Barbie finally understands from Barbie land that there's more to life than just being this perfect little stereotypical Barbie and we age and things go wrong, things go out of place and that's the journey of life. And then she falls in love with the human land and wants to experiment and experience it. And then she wants to become human. So the whole point of the movie was Barbie don't even want to be Barbie. Barbie wants to grow old. Deep that. I want to go in a plastic car. I'm running along in my automobile. I want to do that. I don't want to pay another bill again. I want to be Barbie. If Barbie would like to swap with me, I'm taking it. You know? So, yeah. And Ken, he can off. Ain't got no space for Ken in my life over there. You know? Barbie's pissed you off.